Hi everyone, welcome back to Sunset Talk. In this video, I wanna talk about your future. So if you're from the ages 18 to 23, um, you will all be familiar with this trilogy of questions. These three questions are asked to you whenever you meet someone new, whenever you're being introduced to someone, whichever it is, they are going to ring a bell. And those questions are, what is your name? What year are you? And what is your major? So the first two, they're just getting a gauge, how old you are, um, obviously your name, who you are, if they recognize it. And then that third question, that's the question that they put you in a category from that question. No matter what you say um, for your major, they already have a stereotype, people that they have put in your mind. So I don't know about you guys, but I find myself almost defending myself after I say my major, which um, I should not be doing because we all chose it for a reason. But sometimes we'll be like, oh yeah, like I am a business major, but I wanna go into marketing or something like that. So try to, I, I don't, I've been thinking about why we do that. Um, perhaps it's to raise our status or like try to prove that yes, we're gonna do something with that degree. So I'm here to talk about that and I wanna normalize sharing your passions rather than defending what you've chosen. So we all know we chose our majors based off of what we'd like to do, maybe what you're good at, maybe what you feel is realistic for you to provide for yourself in the future. Um, maybe it has to do with location, has to do with an internship you had, had to do with a, a class you took in high school. Whatever it is, you were drawn to that major for a reason. For me, for instance, I knew I did not want to go into the medical field. I am not good with blood and those type of things. So another one of my interests um, was helping people and I found that I was kind of good at selling things. And then I came across marketing in high school and absolutely loved it. So when I went to college, they had one business major, international business and management. So my choice was kind of made for me. That was gonna be the major for me. So everybody has a different way of finding their major, but in most cases, it has something to do with your likes, preferences, and just kind of what you think you might wanna do. Um, obviously, there's instances where we change our majors, change paths, I have plenty of friends that have done that, and that is so okay too, but no matter what you're doing, I feel like we all end up defending or um, being defensive when it comes to our major. So I was thinking about it the other night and thinking about how, why do I wanna do marketing? Because I don't necessarily wanna be going house to house, selling things or making commercials to guilt people into buying things. No, that's not what I strive for. I think that I came up with my little spiel that I aim to help people by finding the product for them, not to sell them any BS, not to just get them onto my period pyramid scheme, but to find a product that's for them or service. And if I was working for a big company to find people that I can market to that would benefit from this service. So on the outside, it kind of seems like it is a lucrative place. You're trying to sell things, just trying to get the money, money, money. But for me, when I think about it is that I want to market good things. And now that I'm looking for jobs and starting to look at places to apply, I am looking into those kind of businesses that I don't want to market or work for a business that's selling BS and selling just whatever it is. I want to work for somewhere that is marketing and selling good things, meaningful, beneficial things for people. So I need to start saying when I'm a business major, yes, I wanna go into marketing, but why? We need to know that why, right? We know it's something we like, we know it's probably something we're good at, but why? Why do you wanna enter that market? And like I said, for mine, it's because I strive to help people and I believe that through marketing that you can find services and goods for the people and find the people the right people for your good or service and in that sense of it you are helping people because it's a win-win that you get to sell them the product but they're gonna benefit out of that product so for me I guess you could say it's sort of the passion I think that there are different types of passions that there's personal passions um, work-life passions stuff like that so I would say that that was probably my professional passion would be to help people. Personal passion would is also to help people, but in different ways. Um, I'm not going to sell my best friend a product because that's gonna help 
make her feel better. I am going to probably comfort her, maybe take her out to dinner, send her a nice text, something like that. So if my overall passion was to help people to brighten their day, I think in one sentence, it would kind of just be my passion is to bring a smile to someone's face. So then if you take that to the professional side, I can do that with marketing. And I discovered this the other day when I was thinking about applying for jobs and looking for businesses to apply to that I was like, why do I want to do this? So what kind of place do I want to work for? And that is something that came to my mind and I wanted to bring it to your minds because I think that it's really important to have that professional passion. And when you have that, you're able to work towards something and you're able to have the motivation to work towards that and strive for that goal because I want to be able to make people smile based off of what I can do for them and for marketing wise in the professional sense. So um, that is my little tidbit of advice today that when you were asked that dreaded question of what is your name, your age, your major, it is so common. I literally get asked it all the time. It's like the immediate like you have the script that you go to every single time. Like it's the, hi, I'm Phoebe Prettyman. I'm a senior international business. And like you cut it at that. And then they start asking and they're like, oh, well, I'm interested in this and that. When they're like, what are you going to do with that? So my advice would be to find that passion, that professional passion and why, what is your why? And then instead of being defensive, because we shouldn't be defensive on something that we chose. Right. And we should be proud of that and be able to voice that. So Get a little spiel of your passion and be able to say that and I'm telling you it will spark more intricate um, conversations probably longer conversations not just the little icebreakers um, whether you're meeting someone new or an employer or a friend co-worker whatever it is it's gonna get you that little bit farther not just the staple yes this is my major I'm doing this because it is an actual deeper connection that maybe they have a similar passion, something like that. Something to think about. So um, I hope you guys take that with what you will. And I am looking forward to seeing you in the next chat. So thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you later.